Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to tell you what I know about queuing. The first major feature of queuing is developing a proper stroke. And to my mind, this is the way it works. First of all, <clears throat> we, it's a misnomer to say that we grip the cue. We merely hold it. And my cue is fairly slippery in the handle here. I'm holding the cue so lightly in my fingers here that if I tried to take a poke stroke, I couldn't because my hand would slip up the cue. I'm holding the cue loose enough that my hand would simply slip up the cue. In order to take a proper stroke, we swing, we do a swinging motion. And we're talking about an arc or a swing here. <clears throat> on the back, on the, we take the cue back. On the down swing, the cue goes faster and faster and faster. That's just the way a swing works, doesn't it? The swing gets to the top of its back swing, and then it, it stops there momentarily, and then it goes faster, faster, faster to the bottom, and then it slows as it comes in this direction. So we're talking about an arc. We go back, it stops momentarily, and then it goes faster, 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 Accelerating faster every instant in time is acceleration. So we're coming faster, faster, faster. From about right here at the bottom of our arc, we go slower, slower, slower. And this is what it looks like. In the beginning, we take the cue all the way back to our bridge hand and then the cue goes faster, 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 accelerating all the time down through the bottom, and then it starts slowing up. <clears throat> the amount of power needed then is a function of how long our bridge is and how big of an arc we take because the longer we have to get to the bottom of our arc, the more time we have for that cue to build up speed. So it's a function then of the length of our stroke for speed as opposed to taking a very short stroke like this, squeezing the cue and then poking like that for power, it's much better if we want power to take a longer bridge, a longer stroke, so that we start out slow, but by the time we get to the cue ball, we have a lot of speed there. And it's always the same stroke then. If we want to hit the ball easy, we may shorten our bridge and just take a portion of that swing that I just used. Here it is. I'm just taking a portion of it. It's the same swing as this, only this time the cue has much more time accelerating all the time, getting faster and faster to reach a higher rate of speed, and that, of course, is going to impart more force into the cue ball. <clears throat> I believe the formula <clears throat> that we could use here in physics is one-half m 
m meaning the mass or weight of your q, which is constant. The one half is just a, another constant in the formula. The formula is one half m times the velocity squared. So the amount of energy that we impart, or the power that we put into the cue ball, is going to be almost totally controlled by the amount of Q-tip speed that we have when the Q-tip reaches the cue ball. And that's going to be varied by this stroke that's always the same, goes, starts out slow and goes faster, faster, faster. You don't need to grip the cue hard at all because you're starting out so slow. So if I wanted to hit this ball quite hard, I'd have a long bridge, and I'd take a long stroke, and that would, you can see that the velocity that that ball had in the pocket, I hit it quite hard. Okay, if I wanted to hit the ball easy, I don't really have to shorten my bridge. I could still stay here. But just to remind yourself that you really are going to shoot soft, you can put yourself in a position where you simply can't take a long stroke if you hit with power if you wanted to. Because we're going to take that very same stroke, only a part of it. And we're just using a part of it. It hits, generates much less power because we simply didn't have, give it time to reach any appreciable speed. Therefore, the power isn't going to be very much. So we regulate the amount of power that we want to put in the shot by the length of the bridge or the length of the stroke that we take. That stroke, I had much more time to generate more two-step speed and I hit the ball much harder. But it's sort of analogies, analogous to golf. We talk about having a repeating swing in golf. That's what we want in this game. We want always to take the same stroke, only just portions of it. If you're hitting a 30-yard pitch shot in golf, we're just using the same swing, we're just taking a portion of it. And that's how we regulate the distance. <clears throat> we want to be sure that you understand this extremely vital component of what Don is teaching you. You can vary the power of your hit by where you grip the butt of your cue stick and by the distance your bridge hand is from the cue ball. But in the words of Buddy Hall, your stroke must always be the same. I've heard Buddy Hall say many, the same, the same, the same. Your stroke must become a constant in order for you to develop consistency.